Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So we're back with part five of the series. We'll be doing a two color swirl. These are the two that I did. We'll be doing the second one in this video. So this is gonna start the same as part one and two. So we're just gonna place the yarns on the back side of the lock. So remember when I said back side, I mean the side that's closest to us. And then we're gonna begin to wrap the yarn forward. So as you can see, I'm carefully making sure that both the yarns kind of stay in place because we want to make sure that it keeps the same color pattern as we go down the lock. So we're just going to keep moving down the lock. We're going to keep making sure to check that our yarn is in the correct order. So if you do need to rearrange your yarn on your way down, just make sure to do that as well. We're going to get to a point where we feel is good for us and then later on we're going to add a bead before we continue wrapping the lock. So I did speed this up just a little bit. I am quick at wrapping my locks, but not quite this quick. Um, I just felt like you guys didn't need to see me do all that again. So then we're just gonna go ahead and secure the yarn with the duck clip while we slide our bead up the lock. Go ahead and remove your duck clip and set it aside and then go ahead and put your yarn under your bead. You're gonna remember to keep that yarn nice and secure under your bead because that's what's gonna stop the bead from sliding down your lock. And then we're just gonna continue wrapping our lock down. So we're coming to a good stopping point to go ahead and tie off our yarn. So we're going to remember to bring our yarn over our fingers and pull it through the bottom and through the top and pull tight. You're going to do this four times so that you have four little knots after you get done tying it off. So remember to pull each yarn secure because you'll have to worry about two yarns instead of one like we did before. So remember to just pull each one really tight. So after we get done tying our knots, we're just going to pull it really tight just to make sure and then we're going to go ahead and cut off those loose ends and it should look something like this. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.